uh, if this thing starts confirming down the, the five day moving average, nobody's gonna care about the $10 billion buyback. Nobody's gonna... Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody had uh, a good uh, trading session. Uh, same narrative, right? Um, we, you know, we, we go lower, right? We're going lower. Uh, if you look at uh, the cues here, we're right on uh, the February 24 lows. That's kind of where we stopped today. Um, if you look at the indexes, really nothing, uh, nothing has changed. The Dow today uh, was flat. If you want to keep score, it was actually up one point. Uh, you had the NASDAQ down 2% after 3.5% uh, decline last week, despite uh, one day that the NASDAQ was up uh, 500 points. It really does show you uh, the selling pressure. Uh, you had the names, right? You had the names that were big leaders, and it really does show you the difference between a sell bias market and a bull bias market. If Amazon would have announced, for example, the 20 for 1 split, uh, right over here, right? Say, call, you know, call it maybe uh, maybe November, right? Maybe December. Amazon would have been at four thousand dollars a share, but it, it announced in a bear market. And again, the, the theory of the bear market is nobody cares how good the companies. No, nobody cares how good any companies. It's always shoot first, ask questions later. It doesn't make a difference. And this one is is pretty much taking the same route as Google did with the twenty four one stock split. If you saw what Google did. After they announced the 24 and stock split, the stock literally went from uh, 30, 30 all the way down to 2,500, which is setting up another uh, channel here for the next couple of days. But that's kind of what Amazon uh, is doing as well, right? You got you have the announcement of uh, the 24 and stock split. It closed on the five day, and watch Amazon tomorrow. If this thing starts, uh, if this thing starts confirming down the the five day moving average, nobody's going to care about the 10 billion dollar buyback. Nobody's going to uh, again with the markets already telling you, nobody's really caring. Uh, about the 24 and split, yeah, it's you know it's going to get back down to the bottom of the range here, and that's kind of goes with the same thing with every single stock. Nothing is safe, right? No, no matter how good the company is, uh, you know, here's one side of the equation: Amazon, right, and Google, uh, two absolute monsters, and here's the other equation, right? A name like an AMC, which is a name like a GameStop that we talked about uh, for the last couple of days that really imploded today, and looks like. Uh, more downside ahead. So it really doesn't make a difference. Bad, good, indifferent, balance sheet, good, balance sheet, bad. Uh, everything is being sold. And, and again, if you've been watching this broadcast for a long time, a lot of you guys, again, have not traded in a bear market. This has been two months. Imagine two, three years of this. And that's exactly what we saw from 201 to 203 and from 207 uh, to uh, 209. So that's kind of where it is. So our goal right now is just, just to find names that are not at the lows and just drifting every single day. Our goal every single day is to find names that are coming out of the daily channel. They're not at the lows yet, but they're ready to challenge. So again, for example, you know, we talked about Adobe over the weekend, right? We talked about Adobe over the weekend. Uh, what else did we talk about over the weekend that I shared with you guys? GameStop, obviously, DOCS, right? We talked about uh, DOCS over the weekend. It's the same kind of chart, right? It's not at the lows, but it's coming out out of a big, uh, out of a big distribution, usually below a rising support in this case, uh, both the Bollinger Band and the 50 day moving average. And now it's finally going back down uh, to the bottom of the range. And that's kind of the challenge right now because the market's been kind of on sell mode for the last couple of months. It's very easy to look at a name like Zoom and be like, well, well this thing's going lower. It's been going lower, right? You see these, you see how small these channels are? You see how small the candles are? It's basically a linear fade. What you're looking for is range, right? Like Tesla, for example, and again, we'll we'll get to the individual pivots today. Broke a big, big number today uh, that we discussed for you know a pretty decent amount of time. But you need a stock that's coming out of range, right? Maybe two, three weeks of range, and here you got the bottom in sight. So that's kind of our challenge uh, going into every single day. Not everything now is at a very, very good position. A stocks continue to go lower. Sure, they're going to go lower until there is an absolute uh, you know, seller strike, right? And again, that's very, very tough to do because kind of what we're in the middle of, but that, that's what it is. When bad headlines uh, get embraced, when bad get headlines get pushed to the side, that's when we're gonna start you know, putting in a roundabout bottom. As of right now, it's kind of business as usual if you are uh, sell biased in 
in the market. So that's it. You know, again, going into tomorrow, you know, again, you have to have a sell bias attitude. You have to have a sell bias uh, game plan, just like that we did uh, going into today's session. Again, are we, you know, naive to believe that the market's going to go straight down? No, of course not. We, we talked about this every single day, so nobody gets caught off guard. What you don't want to see if you're a bull is a gap up. Every gap up is, is being sold into supply, where you potentially could have a, a dead cat bounce on any given day is if we do gap down two, three, four, five hundred points. That's where we've, we've been seeing. If you look at the cues, the majority of times that we've had these kind of dead cat bounces started with a washout, right? Started with a washout, trapped uh, early shorts, and then we went higher. So we're always conscious of looking at that. The last thing we want to do again is be naive that this can happen. Again, the worst markets in the world have very, very aggressive and very, very uh, exaggerated bounces, whether it's intraday or a couple of days range. We just want to be conscious that does happen. So you're not shorting into uh, into strength, especially if they get caught uh, at the morning session. That's it. I mean, that's the game plan. So that is the game plan uh, going into tomorrow. Uh, and let's talk about uh, some ideas that I do like. Uh, I really like this ISRG for tomorrow. Here's another perfect example of a stock coming at the at the bottom of the range here, right? Excuse me, at the bottom of this range here that lasted for about several weeks, but you could tell it's not at the bottom yet. So if it confirms this whole channel here, let I me mean, look, look how much room uh, you have to go. I mean, look at a name like L-I-T-E. Again, usually not a name that I'd be very, very interested in. But again, look, look at the bottom range here. Look where it stopped. This, this thing starts taking out this bottom range here. Hey, again, look how much room it has. Look at Tesla, right? We talked about Tesla for a couple of weeks on this bottom channel. This is the lowest close in this whole formation. And the only reason why it stopped is it's right out on its daily Bollinger Band. This Bollinger Band gets confirmed. Look at the low here, right? Look how much room you have back down to the low. So there's definitely names that I'm watching, continue to watch, especially on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, on the upside, I'm not really, even today we went green in the day. We were up like 30, 40 handles today. Uh, on the NASDAQ and I was like, yeah, I have no interest. I have zero, zero interest. Every time there's an uptick, people think this is the bottom of the market. It's not. Again, we, we, we talked about the scenarios, how it will be the bottom of the market. The problem is it's not a one day event. It's usually a multi-week bottoming out process, but at least the bulls need it to give us some sort of signs that there is some sort of seller strike for that uh, to kind of uh, play itself out. So let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the pivots today. Uh, very uh, aggressive session to uh, start the day. And of course, this is the one, obviously I didn't talk about this on the weekend update. Somebody's asked, well, how about Tesla? You, you don't like any Tesla? Yeah, of course I like Tesla. But again, this is a big number here. Uh, 782 is a monster support. I put this out at 7.30 in the morning, man. This is this is a big, big number. Uh, it held twice. If it bu builds below, it can flush. This was definitely the move of the day. Uh, definitely the trade of the day here. 782 went all the way down uh, into the 750s. This thing confirms 750s, guys. Look how much room you have down uh, to the February 24th low. Beautiful move there. Really, really beautiful move. Uh, uh, great flush on Friday. Overstock, uh, you know, 4450, 44 if it builds below can flush. Uh, overstock continues uh, to get hit, right? Here is, it broke down on Friday, 4870s. It took out that 44 and a half today, went all the way down to 42. Again, I still think this thing drifts all the way back down to this uh, 38 level. So if it starts taking out uh, 42, I mean, you still have about four or five dollars worth of premium back uh, to the downside. Uh, GameStop got, you know, just smashed, just absolutely smashed. Uh, here is the pivot on Friday, 98 and 96 if it builds below can flush. Today was uh, the continuation, 92.50, If it builds below, can flush more. Uh, yeah, I mean, GameStop got hit, right? And, you know, here is, here is the 90, right? Here is the, excuse me, here is the 98.96, and it took out the 92.50, and then today it took out the 86, and stock closed all the way down uh, to 78. Phenomenal move, absolutely phenomenal move. Congratulations for all you guys who are still holding uh, a runner on that. Uh, we talked about DOCS on the weekend update. 46 of it builds below uh, can flush. Here was DOCS, right? Took out the 46, traded all the way down to 40. I still think there's a couple more bucks left in this stock before it reaches its linear regression line. Adobe, we discussed this thing on the weekend update as well. 415 of it builds below can flush. Here was uh Adobe, right? So it took out the 415, traded all the way down uh, to 407. You know, keep watch this thing for tomorrow. If it confirms 407, I think this thing goes lower, assuming the market does as well. Uh, NVIDIA, uh, 218, if it builds below, can flush. Here is NVIDIA. You can see it's the same thing pretty much every day 
they're just you know they're just breaking channels confirming the next day going lower so here's the four uh 218.80 uh went all the way down to 211. i think if this thing confirms 211 tomorrow there's a shot you could see uh the bottom of the range here uh which is roughly you know 208 206 and any close under 206 in the video this thing could get really, really hit, assuming the market goes lower. I, I didn't pay attention to the checkpoint today, so I apologize. We're, we're literally going to be looking at this thing at the same time. Uh, 3350, 133 if it builds below can flush. Let's see what checkpoint did today. I just wasn't watching it. Uh, checkpoint, uh, looks like it took out 33, went down to nothing. It looks, looks like it went down to uh, 32 and then reversed. Not really a reversal, but again, it really didn't do anything. Uh, Tesla just got just got murdered. 760s went down to 754. Phenomenal. I mean, what, what else are we going to say? What other dynamic things we could call Tesla? Just the greatest stock ever. Uh, both sides of the market. Here comes GameStop. Here comes 86 on deck. Closed at uh, 78. Just, just absolute destruction there. Uh, Docs went to 40. Uh, here comes 406. Trade to 408. GameStop just, just, just shelled. Um, and that's it, right? And that's it. So business as usual. Uh, again, guys, my opinion doesn't count. Your opinion doesn't count. It doesn't make a difference if you're wrong theoretically. If you're preparing on one side of the market and it goes back the other way, just don't, again, it's okay to be wrong. We're wrong every single day. Just do not be wrong financially. Don't be pigheaded. Don't anticipate. You know, wait for the confirmation and let your game plan play out. And if the market doesn't tell you that your game plan is getting out, don't just switch gears very quickly back to the upside. Okay, you can be twisting your brain around. Just wait for your process and wait for everything to confirm back. It might not confirm tomorrow. They might have a dead cat balance, but the overall action continues to be sell bias until we have a, a, a tangible reason that it's not. Guys, have a great night. God bless, and I'll see you all tomorrow.